Hi, this is Dr. Tony Cooper. Just a reminder, this is not a substitute for medication or counseling. If you're having thoughts of harming yourself or another person, or if this material triggers you, please contact your doctor or a mental health specialist to discuss your concerns. You can find my books on Amazon, my videos are on YouTube, or you can listen to my podcast, Life Without Baggage, on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. This video is on building healthy confidence. So first we're going to look at the components of healthy self-confidence and then look at ways to build it. So first of all, I'm borrowing concepts from Dr. Maurice Wagner. I like how he puts things together. He says that confidence is made up of a sense of belonging, a sense of competence, and a sense of worth. So let's define what those are. A sense of belonging, hopefully we pick that up through our family relationships. It starts there. The feeling that we're accepted, that we're wanted, that we are valued as an individual, as a unique person. Competence is that we feel adequate as a person, adequate for the tasks of life, adequate as a partner, as a parent, uh, in your profession, a sense that we are adequate for the tasks of our life. And then our sense of worth starts, of course, as seeing as good by others. If we grow up feeling like we're good, that we consistently make good decisions, uh, that's a good start. Not everybody gets that. But most importantly, are we seen as good in our own hearts and minds? And as you go on in life, how you view yourself becomes the most important thing. Life goes up and down, relationships go up and down. But if we don't see ourselves as valuable, as competent, as important and lovable, that's going to create problems regardless of how well received we are from other people. So let's talk about building confidence. And I have some suggestions today. Now, this is not a substitute for counseling, but I have some strategies you can implement. I have some journal exercises, some suggestions about how you talk to yourself, because we all talk to ourselves all day long, and building positive supports. So some journal exercises. You can collect photos of groups or people where you have sensed belonging. This is helpful as long as it creates good feelings. If it makes you sad, then that probably isn't a good exercise for you. Another exercise is to write down 10 of your strengths. 10 strengths as a person, 10 strengths in terms of your accomplishments. We need to value what we have done, who we are. We need to value that for ourselves. We're not always going to get it from other people. It's really important to be aware of your internal dialogue or what's called self-talk. Most people talk a lot of smack to themselves, self-criticism, and uh, we want to interrupt that. So one technique is to journal your negative thoughts and then write something positive, something affirming to substitute for the negative thought. We can't just eliminate the negative. We have to substitute with something positive. What is it you would want people to say? What are some kind things other people have said? What would you say to a friend who told you the same negative thought? Most of us don't talk to our friends the way we talk to ourselves. And I encourage people you should only have one set of rules. If you wouldn't say this to another person, you shouldn't be saying it to yourself. Or you can Google affirmations. Uh, they're plentiful on the internet. Another idea is to build your supports. You can find clubs or support groups or a church where you can feel a connection, where you can feel valued. So finally, I want to close with a prayer to build our self-confidence in a healthy way. We thank you, Lord, that you invite us into relationship to be part of your family, that you give us the power to choose rightly, that you forgive us 
when we make mistakes and that you empower us to succeed and to tackle the challenges of life. Help us to continue to move forward and to see ourselves the way you see us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is Dr. Tony Cooper. Thanks for listening.